And that breaking news right now at 10, an escaped inmate leads police on a chase in Oklahoma City. The fugitive had been on the run a couple of days before crossing paths with Metro Police tonight. News 9's Kaylee Bourgeois joins us live from the scene near Southwest 59th and I-44. Kaylee, what's the latest out there? Well, it's all clear here now, Lisa. Not a scene left, much different than it looked about an hour ago. To give you some perspective, we're off I-44 on a service road. We'll show you what the scene looked like in just a second, but this is the area where police say the inmate suffered some sort of injury, likely self-inflicted. Take a look at the video from before. Earlier this week, Teddy Ely escaped from Mangum, that's in Greer County. We're told he used a four-wheeler, then switched to a stolen pickup truck. Tonight, police spotted 42-year-old Ely near Southwest 89th in May. The inmate led them on a chase through Southwest OKC in the stolen vehicle. Eventually, the chase ended and Ely suffered some sort of injury. Police say may have been intentional. He was transported to the hospital and is expected to survive. Ely's rap sheet shows he's serving time for bogus checks, burglary, larceny, and a few other crimes. And although the scene is clear here, there's a lot of development still to come in this story. Of course, we'll keep you updated on all those developments on the News 9 app. On the scene, on the story in southwest Oklahoma City, Kaylee Bourgeois.